Hey guys, um, so I did a bit of work today on getting a bit more of this LED cube thing up and running, and so I thought I'd give a bit of a demo on what it can do right now. Um, I did a demo a bit earlier, but it was a bit, well, it was actually a lot more uh, primitive than what we have running now. Um, so yeah, I guess with that, I'm gonna tell you what's going on. Right now, everything's just sitting off. Um, we can change that just by going on the computer here, clicking uh, full brightness. So there's everything on. Um, like I said last time, I did burn out a couple LEDs and I didn't bother replacing them because this is just a proof of concept. So um, yeah, that, there's that. We can uh, turn on just the corners right now. You see we got eight vertices. We can do edges. We have the edges of the cube there. It's kind of neat. It looks like it's pulsating on the screen. Anyway, it's not actually doing that in real life. That's just an artifact of the video capture. Um, the thing that made it really neat, though, was that uh, I got, um, uh, <coughs> excuse me, built a uh, LED cube designer program that uh, allows you just to draw these things in 3D very quickly. And um, so the first one, which is probably the least impressive, is the um, the random uh, changing and flipping of bits. So this goes through the uh, cubes, well, the cube RAM that I'm using, and a uh, it well makes it random. <laughs> the uh, yeah flips um, on the uh, screen. I'm not showing the UI because it's a little primitive, but uh, you can change the uh, speed at which this is done just on the fly on the actual computer. So you can you know make it really quick, make all these changes very fast, or we can make everything really 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 slow. Um, be up to the end user whoever wants to set one of these up to whatever they want to do. So we're down to five times a second there. We can go all the way up to, you know, lots of times a second. Uh, slowing it back down to where I'd like to have it. I have it about, it updates at 10 frames a second, which, yeah, it doesn't look bad for what of, what's going on. Um, so with that designer, I was saying that we have uh, the ability to do our own custom animations. Um, first one I made is really simple, and here it is. It's just a, a, wi a wiping function. It just uh, scrolls, sort of. Um, Again, we have, a, we have a plane rotation function. It was pretty easy to write up, but I, uh, nonetheless, there it is. It looks, uh, looks pretty spiffy. Um, again, with the uh, frame rate, we can, this is still completely adjustable even with these uh, custom animations. You can make them down to really quickly or really slowly. Um, depends how much of each frame you want the person to see. Um, you can go to uh, this one. It's kind of neat. Still a little bit incomplete. Um, we have a solid angle rotate. It looks like a wiper blade wiping off brain. That's what I was going for. Probably didn't work. Um, we got this one. Looks kind of nifty. And the last one that I'm pretty happy with, that came out really well, is this uh, rotating helix, which looks, considering it's a 5x5 five five cube, looks pretty pretty impressive, I think. Um, yeah, well, that's that's um, everything we can do. The other option we still have on the uh, PC side is um, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but I know I will be here. Um, we can slow down the um, layer transition speed. So right now the um, layers are being trans uh, transitioned between a, somewhere in a couple kilohertz. I think two or three kilohertz is what was chosen. And um, you can change this on the computer to be much slower. So I'll do that right now. You can see um, we get a weird stroby effect. You can slow it down even more. I think I can go all the way down to this. I think. So you can see all of the individual things being drawn at the same time. It looks kind of nifty. Um, yeah, that's all i got to say. So, thanks for listening.